For more than 200 years, the village of Whitesboro has celebrated a piece of its history on its official seal. To the people that have lived here all their life, it's, it's history. It's, the, it's you white having a, a friendly wrestling match with the Oneida Indian chief at the time. Can you see how people might see it as offensive? No, I don't see, I don't see how they can see it offensive. If, if someone takes the time to read the history of the seal, and what went on between you, White, and the Indian Chief, I don't find anything offensive. It's, it was a friendly wrestling match. But to many, the depiction of the wrestling match appears anything but friendly. When I look at this seal, it looks a little bit racist to me. This New Englander, who did not wish to appear on camera, is looking at the Whitesboro Village seal for the very first time. It's offensive. It shows a white man uh, accosting an Indian. And in my opinion, I think maybe it should be changed. On Monday, village residents were invited to vote on the logo and possible alternatives. Nearly 75% of the 212 votes cast favored the current seal. Though it's not on any flag, the seal can actually be seen in several places around the village, including here at the police station and on police cars. Though neighbors I spoke with say they never really noticed or even thought about the image until now. I'm just used to it, I guess. I think it's a little crazy that it's gone so everywhere viral, but I don't know. I'm used to it. It yeah. doesn't bother me. I lived here almost 50 years, and uh, I've never given it too much thought. I, I think they're blowing this thing way out of proportion. Other longtime neighbors, however, aren't happy with the image this image is giving the rest of the country about Whitesboro. It's a very small thing. We're a very small town in the upstate New York, but I feel it's inappropriate. In Whitesboro, Kelly Cowan reporting.